Not all of the landscape is covered in forest. There are vast open fern prairies, and this is where the titans of the Jurassic roam. Dinosaurs like Stegosaurus, with its distinctive row of spinal plates. These prairies are kept clear of trees by the constant grazing of such giant herbivores. And none have a larger impact on this environment than the biggest dinosaurs of all, the sauropods. There are many different types of these gigantic long-necked creatures. These are Diplodocus, the longest of them all. For protection, they move in herds of 30 or more, and some of the older ones are over 40 meters in length. They use their very strong but stiff necks to graze over large areas with little effort. To balance their necks, they have long tails with elegant whip-like ends that are used for communication between members of the herd. Such a huge herd on the move attracts an array of smaller animals. As they eat and trample the vegetation, insects swarm around them. And insect hunters, like these damselflies, use the dinosaurs as gigantic feeding platforms. There is even a tiny flying reptile or pterosaur called Anurognathus that specializes in life amongst these giants. These pterosaurs feed on insects and spend their entire lives hanging on to the Diplodocus. They fight, feed and breed on creatures that are 150,000 times heavier than they are. Each Diplodocus drops over a ton of dung on the prairie every day. This attracts yet more insects, especially the dung beetles. Millions of years from now, the descendants of these beetles will clear elephant dung off the African grasslands, but their peculiar lifestyle started here in the Jurassic with the dinosaurs. The herd of giants moves on, carrying its own unique habitat with it. After a night of rain, the redwoods steam in the tropical morning temperatures, and a dinosaur's dawn chorus fills the air. A year has passed since the sauropodlets fled into the denser part of the forest, and deep in a canyon, the little female grazes. She is already over three meters long. She feeds with other yearlings that stick together in a creche for safety. They are here because the walls of the canyon drip with moisture, creating a thick layer of moss and fern. But the canyon runs down to the prairie, and all this greenery attracts larger dinosaurs. A seven-ton male Stegosaurus. He too is a herbivore, but very dangerous. The large plates on his back are primarily there for display. It is the meter-long spikes on his tail that make him so lethal. These he can wield with devastating effect, despite having a very small brain for his body size. The creche moves further down the canyon, away from the Stegosaurus. But two Allosaurus have also been drawn here by the smell of prey.
Stegosaurus flushes blood into his plates, creating a frightening display of color. Confused and intimidated by the herbivore's display, the Allosaurus backs down. Sauropodlets are small prey for the Allosaurus. These are the lions of the Jurassic the top predators of their age. Ah! 